All right, so I guess we are on the air. So welcome, everyone. Welcome back to Logimat 2019 in Stuttgart, Germany. And welcome back to our Jung Heinrich booth. Now, my name is Thomas, and I'm standing right next, or actually in front of, the newest pellet stacker from Jung Heinrich, and that is the next revolution in the warehouse, the ERC216ZI. Now, also with me this afternoon is Jung Heinrich expert Ramanathan. How are you doing? Thank you very much, Thomas. You call my name correctly, so, but I will spare you. You can call me Ram for the rest of the evening. Well, call me Tom then. <laughs> all right. Well, that's good. All right, Ram. Now, before we step onto the platform and before we look at all the details, maybe you can give us a brief introduction on this great new vehicle. Like, what are the main key points here? Yeah. See, at, first of all, it's very important you understand at Jung Heinrich, anything that we produce, we keep the core value as a customer centricity. Anything that we produce has to value add to our customers in terms of the efficiency, in terms of the cost and the operational efficiency, the safety and the ergonomics aspect. If that is not going to be delivered to a customer, we don't want to be developing such a product. So you ask me, why is this truck so special? In my opinion, this truck is an absolutely revolutionary product because this truck is not constructed based on the market conventions that the industry has posed on us, but we've, we've tried to create this truck based on what really matters to a customer. So if you ask me, if take for example, all the trucks that you have in the, in the market, majority of it is always based on the lead acid battery. If you know about lead acid battery, it's such a massive giant, giant battery. And the engineers had to create a truck around this battery, which, created, which posed a lot of um, uh, restriction in terms of design. But this particular truck, our engineers asked themselves, why should we have to create a battery, We create a truck around the battery? I not, and why not focus on things that matters to customers, such as ergonomics, safety, and the efficiency aspect? So I think this fundamental idea gave our engineers the freedom to think and create a product, which finally evolved into this, uh, the ERC uh, ZI particular truck. And what we have here is a completely integrated uh, lithium-ion tower battery. Because it is a tower battery, besides all the lithium-ion efficiencies aside, this has made this truck so compact that it is 17 centimeters less than any other truck in the competitor in the, in the competitive market that we have. You might wonder, what is this 17 centimeters after all? It's like, imagine if you have to work, if you're a driver who's going on this truck every single day, and you have to be working on a narrow aisle. This 17 centimeters is like you trying to park a small car or turn a small car where there's a jumbo giant, a jumbo, jumbo jet being parked. So that's, that's what it really provides a benefit to a customer. And the other point is, imagine when you have so much easy maneuverable aspect to this particular truck, your driver is going to be more happy driving it so he would transfer the goods faster in the end effect, you're going to have a lot of less grumpy drivers. I like those less grumpy drivers. <laughs> well, now let's have a look at the operator's workspace here. Absolutely. And this is ab obviously the new platform, which yeah. is now a stable platform. Yeah. Before we had a fold-down platform. Now, what kind of advantages does that bring along? So from an ergonomic standpoint, I think first what you will see is that we've got a suspension pedal, a suspension floor. So when it might not look like a, a big thing, but if you're a driver who's driving a truck and you have to go down and up on it for stacking nearly 50 to 100 times a day, you will see a bit of a comfort what you will feel. So when you come in, obviously first you see for a truck that's so compact, you see so much space and you know I'm a big man. And yet there is so much space around this truck. And the second thing that you see is you will notice this tiering compartment slightly on the left. And there is a good reason why our engineers have done that way, because if you look at the practice, how this truck is being driven in the operating environment, you, uh, the, uh, the drivers have the tendency to lean a bit and drive with one hand. So this is a completely new steering concept with an improved smart pilot with intuitive controls which we've taken as a feedback from the drivers during the development process. Um, and furthermore, is this because it's a new driving concept, it's also got a safety component built into it, which I will explain to you in a bit, uh, but it's got a safety element where you will get the haptic, uh, the, the uh, tactical uh, feedback on it. This starts to vibrate when it senses a threat. And further on, we've got a four inch display dashboard, uh, the display integrated into the dashboard. And what that means is you, on a one particular shot, you get a comprehensive understanding 
of what's going on in the truck. Yeah. Now, you already referred to one of the assistance systems, yeah. so we're going to get to that in just a bit. Yeah. But first of all, I want to stick with the operator's experience here. Yeah. And one thing that also influences the operator's experience is, of course, the new mast. Because absolutely. the new mast design appears to be a lot thinner, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let me quickly go around it and show it to you. You will see this particular mast has gotten much narrow. Because we have a lithium mine, because we have the leverage that this truck has gone a lot more shorter, we try to see how much of the visibility aspect that we can improve and give to a rider who's going to be driving on a, on a daily basis. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been a forklift driver? I have for about five minutes in a row. Imagine you have to drive this truck nine hours a day and your sustenance is dependent on it and you do a mundane job doing five days a week. Every bit of improvement what we've done on the truck matters to a customer. So if you come, because first this has gotten narrow, and the cylinder has, uh, in the past models, used to be 45 degrees inclined. So it was a blocker for somebody who's trying to have a good vision on the other side. So if you now come, you will see there's so much space. And because this is driving direction, you feel a lot more of view in front of you, which gives the sense of security and the comfort to the driver. Now, you already mentioned uh, two of the main assistance systems yeah. that um, we can imply here. Mm -hmm. Now, the first one was operation control. Yeah. You said that the driver would actually get a feedback, yeah. first of all, on the on the steering. Yeah, on the steering. And he would also get a visual feedback. Now, what kind of feedback and what kind of situation is that? Yeah, because it relates to security. I think it might be of a, a, a value if I explain all the things that we've considered in this truck in terms of safety and the security aspect. Because Operation control is one of the security feature, a, a, um, a feature that would, would be, on a long term, extremely beneficial to customers. So overall, first when a driver comes in, this is the cockpit he's in. There's a lot of space, and he's got three-sided protection, number one, on top of it. A noteworthy development from our engineers is this overhead guard, because if you're operating and you're stacking your goods at six meter high, the chances are that, that goods might slip over and you might get might get a driver might get hurt. I think that's one of the reasons why we put a rooftop, and this was a, a requirement from our customer, and they wanted this particular uh, a roof to be put on. And it is also a very important and noteworthy. We are the only manufacturer in this segment of trucks that's got this particular roof certified uh, based on the German standards. Well, so this is this is one of the security features. And further on, before uh, I forget to answer your question, is this uh, operation this control? Operation yeah. control. Uh, what this is is a real-time measurement of your load as against the height. So if you've got a load and it's operating at a certain height, there is a threat if you try to lift a heavier load at a certain height, the truck can top over. To make sure that there is a sense of security. Uh, this, this particular feature, operational control, will display a warning to a user who's driving the truck. If the residual capacity exceeds than what it should, it would do, do a, a display warning. But we understand, as everybody else, people tend to make manual errors. Sometimes it's just a visual display. You might wonder, what if he overlooks it? On the, so we even thought about it one step ahead and said, why not have an audio warning? So it will beep, so you will become aware of what's going on. But in this world, we all have cell phones and we get lost. <laughs> and and we, we thought, how can we even better it further to make sure that the sense of safeness is given to a driver is when we actually put the safety control in the steering. So when you're holding the steering, you will get a vibration on it that will let you know that uh, there is a threat and the truck could top over. I can tell you are in love with this truck. <laughs> I anyway, do. there is I one more assistance system that I really like to mention here, yeah. and this is um, the position control, absolutely. which is actually very helpful to yeah. new drivers as well as to experienced drivers. And what exactly does that do? Yeah, because if you're a new driver, imagine you're trying to start the truck, because this feature helps you customize your lifting height and set it there. So if you're a new driver who's trying to get hang of the truck and you have to pick a good at a certain height, you can configure the truck to lift and lift and keep it at this, a certain height automatic without doing anything. So you just drive in and you set the controls in, and it's going to pop straight to that location so you can lift the good, drive back on without having to make manual corrections. And if you're an experienced driver, 
um, then it's going to lead to efficiency because you know where you're going to go and what you're going to pick and you all have to do is customize the control one times and then it will automatically come to the location, you pick it up and start driving. And once again, we have what? Less grumpy drivers. Uh, absolutely, less grumpy <laughs> drivers. <laughs> All right, Ram, I have one last question for yeah. you because I was just talking to a gentleman who yeah. walked by here who was yeah. obviously a Junghanish customer, yeah. and he asked whether now with the lower weight, because yeah. we have a smaller battery yeah. included into yeah. the design yeah. of the truck, yeah. how does that affect the residual capacity? Is that also lowered or what? No, it actually has gotten higher now that you mentioned it. Um, we, the development has considered the fact how to give efficiency back to our customer who's going to use it. So all the corrections, even though the truck has gotten shorter, even though the battery has gotten shorter, even though the forks have gone thinner, they have carefully considered the physics aspect of it and ensured that the residual capacity is increased again by another 100 kilos. Thank you so much, Ram. You're welcome. Thank you very much. All right, everyone, I hope that gave you just a brief introduction and a brief impression of this amazing new truck here. And if you have any further questions regarding the ERC 216ZI, please do not hesitate to post your questions or comments in the comment section below, and we'll try to answer everything as quickly and as correctly as anyhow possible. Nevertheless, we're also going to have another Facebook Live tomorrow, and there we will talk about a brand new vertical commissioner, which is also quite amazing, and I think, Ram, we'll talk again, right? Absolutely, we will. That sounds good. All right, I hope to see you guys later, and have an amazing time. Thank you very much. So.